How many erections does the average man get? You just insulted my country. Put this one, didn't it? Foot size and willy size. Oh, God. I'm going to Taco Bell because I've never had Taco Bell before and we're going to eat it. And Kyle's got questions for me. I love this camera because I almost feel like it's got a filter on it and I think I look really pretty. <laughs> um, like, look, it looks like I have a little highlight. This really smooths your skin. I don't look like this. Let's go to Taco Bell. <laughs> Right, I've got everything on the menu on both sides. I just said to the guy, I'll take everything on tacos and then everything on burritos. I couldn't film when I was in there because there was, it was, it was like high school had vomited and it's really thrown me off that they're in KFC bag. Yeah, I forgot they merged. Did you get the french fry things? I... You don't know, that's okay. What oh do you mean? My... What do you mean they merged? I think they're part of the same, they're owned by the same company. I thought it was a franchise. Oh my gosh. Thing is, I don't know what anything's called. I said, are these like churros? They're not, they're like poppadoms. Right. This is like full crackers. That I think is. They, they have labels. Straight off the bat, guys. These are shit. You should start with the, the dessert. This is, this is a poppadom. I don't know what a poppadom is. What's a poppadom? You just insulted my country. That's horrible. Oh my God, that's the size of the chips. <laughs> There's not much that's small in America, but apparently the chips at Taco Bell are. I, I asked like for nacho coming, chips. I feel like you're coming at this from a very hostile place. Taco Bell's delicious, you already hate it. Right, this is um, a pizza. Ooh. A taco pizza. This is a taco bowl. Oh, these feel nice. Quesadilla? Isn't it a quesadilla? <laughs> yeah. That was a joke. Oh. It went over my head. Oh, that looks good. That's something flat. And these, this is the nacho cheese to go with our nacho chips. They're the same size. Yeah. Okay, okay we also have burrito supreme, chicken chipotle melt, chalupa. Chalupa, I like that word. Unlabeled, but it's a, uh, oh, this is a crunch wrap. Oh my God, when I was- Chicken chipotle melt. I was gonna tell you a story. When I was driving back just now, <laughs> driving along the water. I suddenly just got this really big fear that there is an ocean. <laughs> and my legs went really wobbly in the car. Like the fact that the ocean just exists. Yeah, that the ocean exists and it's so big and, we're, and we live next to it. And the ocean could just like eat us. Swallow us up. Yeah, yeah. isn't that disgusting? Taco Supreme. Do you ever suddenly think that the world is gonna end? Sure, sometimes. I listen to a lot of physicists and their stuff is... Oh my God, that doesn't surprise me if you watched our video last week. Yeah. Was it last week? Um, no, I think it was two weeks ago. Last week was Vermont. Oh yeah, two weeks ago. Carl's know it all. No, 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 I just find it interesting and listen to like physicists on podcasts and stuff and when they talk about Random black holes. Oh, I, just I, well, I listened to Lord and Jacks talking on the toast. God, okay, we're going in with the nachos. Oh, the cheese is good. I think this is a grilled cheese burrito. This is called a, a mukbuk when people video themselves eating. Is it called a mukbuk? See, now Kyle's had Chipotle before. Mukbangers. This isn't Chipotle, this is Taco Bell. A mukbanger. A mukbanger. Interesting, never heard that. This is called a mukbanger. It's like a chicken Chipotle thing. I've never had Taco Bell before in America. Right, Kyle's gonna ask questions while we eat this. I don't understand the difference between a soft shell taco and a burrito because it's essentially the same thing, just rolled differently. Rolled or folded, yeah, I think. But it's exactly the same, isn't it? Oh, this looks like a pita bread. What's oh, that's this? a chalupa. I said you want all the salad and bits, and I said, yeah. The boy was so nice, he did look, like, look at me like I was a bit of a weirdo. This, by the way, cost $77. Don't forget to like and subscribe. <laughs> Yeah. So we can fund our move. Oh, I didn't do the intro. And welcome to our YouTube channel. Welcome to our YouTube channel. Right, it's gonna be about 10 minutes in. Oh, I like the bread. This is a lovely lunch option. This tastes like lunch. You know, something's a bit lighter. Yeah. Yeah, this tastes like lunch. Let me get in there. This is a salad. I haven't had taken this top bit. Okay. This is a chalupa, guys. These are mislabeled, by the way, because this is a Doritos Locos. To be tacos. honest, the people in there just look like they were trying to survive. Mm. Mm. Wow, I really like this. First question, wearing a hat causes baldness. True or false? 
I'm gonna say true because with women, if you pull your hair back really tight, you get um, traction alopecia. Yeah. So I'm assuming with caps, if it rubs, you're upsetting the follicle. Interesting. Good correlation, but it's false. Huh. Yeah, no connection whatsoever. Wow, that's so interesting. I'm actually really shocked about that. True or false, wearing briefs lowers your sperm count, like tidy whitey. That is true, because it, it's tight on your, balls, on your balls, and people who do IVF, I think they're told not to wear tight things. Or you're not, no, there's something like you're not meant to be sat down for a long time. Mm. So it's actually false. But you are not meant to sit down for a long time. But, well, so there's Something an asterisk. Something like sitting in an office. No, well, it's... Holy shit, this just fell apart. Right, this is a big zero out of ten if it fell apart. It's warmth lowers your sperm count. So oh, so I sort of answered my own question. Sort of. So yeah. if, it's, if it's super So I am tight, a genius. Oh. All right, know it all. Mmm. Oh. Mmm. <laughs> This is delicious. Right, this one's better than that chalupa. This is just ground beef. It's just a taco. It's a Doritos taco. This is a Dorito. This, he said this was the most popular. This is delicious. Like, this is my favorite so far. Eat this one. This is both of those combined. Shut up. It's a soft taco, soft bread, with the Doritos taco bit inside. Oh my God. Wait, is this a taco? Is this a Dorito? It's a Dorito taco, yeah. Do you remember? I used to live with an Australian girl called Maddie. Hi, Maddie. Midi. Shout out to Midi. Shout out to Midi in Australia. Me and Midi. I keep going back to this one because this one's amazing. Is it good? What Maddie. is that one? It's like chicken chipotle. It's got a bit of a kick. I don't know if you mm. like it. Me and Maddie decided one day that we were going to convince Kyle that um, in the UK and Australia, because bless Kyle, he was just this lost little American boy. Oh, I went little... I don't know why you're I went Australian little Australian because I'm trying to be Maddie. Okay. Anyway, and we convinced Kyle... I think Kyle sounds good in American accent, in Australia, Kyle, that in um, Australia and the UK, we we pronounce this Doritos. Oh God, and Tossitos. And Tossitos. But actually, yeah. we don't have, I, do you know what, I don't even know how you say Tossitos, because we say it's such a joke. It was a long running joke and it really used to piss you off. Because you Those believed us. Yeah, I did. You believed us that we said Doritos, because you were such a... Because you guys say so, things so dumb in the UK, yeah. That's why I believe Wait, you. wait till you... They say way dumber things in Australia. Oh, that I know. Yeah, <laughs> that I know. It's not that it's dumb, it's just they like to abbre they funnier. abbreviate everything. And they have silly words for We're silly. big bluey fans recently. Yeah. But yeah, we convinced Kyle for so long it was Doritos and Tossitos. How do you actually say Tossitos? Tostitos. I didn't even know that. Okay, so beards. We're new to the beard, the beard family, because I couldn't have one for a while in the military. Question number one, you shave with the hair or against the hair? Now, I, now I'm going to go off um, what I've been told about pubic hair is that you go in the direction. But some people like to go against the grain. Those are the daredevils. But you are meant to go with the grain so that you don't irritate the pod, the pore. Mm -hmm. Is that right? Yep. Oh, see? Well done. Yeah. If you have like a thinner beard, mm, you could go it's against. okay to go against. But, but your hair, you wouldn't be able to. You've got thick hair. If I shaved against the grain with you my would be beard, spotty. I would be... No, I'd be a fucking raspberry. Oh. My face would explode. Charlie likes raspberries. He'd, he might be here like you. Maybe he'd like me. I've really enjoyed that. Um, this one. Okay. Um, in Wait, that I vein, haven't tried this one. This is yeah. the Doritos with the with the burrito shell around it. Yeah. Hmm. No, I was expecting it to be crunchy. It's not. Is the other one crunchy? Yeah. Oh. Well, this is good. It's not crunchy. I was expecting a crunch. Okay, so next beard question. Shit when with... Kyle got out of the military, Kyle was in the military for nine and a half years. All he wanted to do was grow a fucking beard, right. which apparently is very common because yeah. they're not allowed beards. They're allowed moustaches, but they look like pedos. <laughs> yep, yeah, that's true. No, this is good, <laughs> but... All right, well, let me finish. The Doritos one's finish. better. That is very tough. No, the one just, just by itself. Mm. This is not very good. It's not, that was the pizza. What yeah. about it did you not like? It's quite bland. Look at that. Okay, so next beard question. When you shave, if you shave frequently, true or false, the hair grows back thicker because it's trying to compensate for being cut so often. True. False. It may appear to grow thicker because when you shave, you are cutting off the like worn down end bits that have been exposed to the sun. So it looks darker, but it's false. Do you know the women shave their face? Yeah. Like there are razors for women, and a lot of women mm, shave their face. Yeah. It's called dermablading. Like derma needling. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just say a good friend of ours shaves 
Fair face. Do we eat it all? No. We eat all of this left. Do you know what? For $75, $77. Yeah, it's the best, best bargain in America. Do you know what? If I had a Chinese in the UK for $77, we'd have a lot more than this. Mm, okay. This is not a lot of food for $77. If you made this £77 and you got a Chinese, oh my God. Okay, next question. Maybe it's because there's no rice. What is the best solution for early stage balding? Caffeine. Shave it off. <laughs> oh. You can't fix it, so you just get rid of it and then... Oh, you, you did a little joke? Me. Yeah, a little joke. A little joke, man. True or false? I think you're gonna know this one. Men can get breast cancer. Oh uh, yeah, because men have breast tissue. And do you know what, actually, a biggest killer of men having breast tissue is they also don't know, and actually a lot of women don't know, that you get you have breast tissue underneath your armpits. Mm, so you gotta check for lumps? You have to check for lumps underneath your armpits. Yeah, so definitely do that. It's a secret killer for men. Hmm. Well, because oh, men it's don't extremely check. Extremely rare. But men don't check. This one's spicy. Oh, I don't want spicy. How tall is the average man in the United States? I was going to say because I've been to Asia and I would say on average men and women are shorter. In men, in America, 5 foot 11. Is that right? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. The average man is 5 foot 9. Wow. Yeah. So transitioning a little bit, still. Oh my god, I want to know what the average size of a woman is. Apparently you're a giant. I'm a giant. <laughs> the average size of a woman is five foot four. I am five foot six and a half. Is five foot six considered tall for women? Yes, hmm. I am tall. What's she average? No, do we dare look? What's she average weight? For men? Yeah. 197 pounds. 0. 0.9, 197, that's a lot. Yeah, that was US. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. Oh my God. Trending in a little bit different direction. The average weight of a woman in America is 170.6 pounds. The average, the average American woman aged 20 and above is 70, 170 pounds. Oh. I knew I was skinny. True or false, there is a connection between foot size and willy size. You know, they say you can judge it. I think it's false because is it not your hand? Interesting point, but it's- Isn't it that? No. Is that made up? <laughs> yeah, that's completely made up. Wait, that is something. It's saying like if you can, if you try on jeans, you can put it around your neck. Do you know that? What? If you take your jeans, right, flat, and you put it around your neck, that is, that will fit you. What do you mean flat? Look, I'll show you. Put this around your neck. Interesting. I mean, that kind of makes sense. Do you know that? No. <laughs> Makes sense because if I think about TikTok it- TikTok teaches you everything. I'm a size I swear 30, to God. I'm a size 36. And I have like an 18 inch neck and you're kind of like folding them in half when you do I that. I mean, I'm sure it's like, it's there are exceptions. Tail. It's a wives tale for sure. But that's... It's a handy tool. I want everyone to take their jeans off and put it around the neck. Seriously, TikTok teaches you everything. And YouTube actually. I have to look up something up and you always look on YouTube. You look at Reddit. Reddit's very helpful, yeah. You're a Reddit guy. Okay. I haven't tried a burrito yet. There's one right there. Oh, it's got fried beans. I like fried beans. Yeah. Or is it, what do they call refried beans? No, Ref refry. Refried beans. Refried beans, yeah. Refried beans. Oh no. <laughs> Why is it so wet? Because it has refried beans in it. That is wet. That wasn't for me. On average, do men or women get married younger? Women. Yeah, that was kind of an easy one. Yeah, because men still think they're living a V Lai loca. Okay, this is an interesting one. Seen Tom one. Girardi. Percentage wise, if the average man. Do you know who Tom Girardi is? No. And Erica. No. If I say. Yeah, oh, yeah. they're real housewives. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If the average man, so just assume all men were fathers, what percentage of men would say parenting, being a parent, is important to them? Oh, I really want to put it at 99%, but I don't think it is. 70. 57%. Oh, no. <laughs> that's so. That's really bad. Yeah. Wait, so only 70% of dads? 57%. Oh God, okay, I gave them some there. Only 57% of men who have kids think say it's important to them. Well, as central to their identity. So like as a critical part of them, not necessarily that it's important to them. Literally, someone, I, I would meet someone within the first sentence, I'm like, oh my God, Sophie did this. <laughs> or Charlie yeah. did this. I would tell someone I have kids within the first like, three sentences. Would you? I mean, it depends on the context, but yeah. Obviously you're not going to go into a, into yeah. work. Yeah, it comes out quick. Definitely. Okay. Would you identify your core? Yeah. What do you get? I don't do anything else. True or false? The willy Ooh, Kyle. is a muscle. <sighs> Certainly got a mind of its own. <laughs> Zing. <laughs> 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 True. Surely you must have muscle in there. False. What's in it? It's a sponge. <laughs> 
<laughs> no. Yeah, that's why it gets erect because when blood flows into it, it just expands. Like no, but it's actual, not actual sponge. I mean, it's like a well, it's, it's like a fibrous, spongy material. Yeah, it's not a muscle. It's not a muscle. It's not cartilage. It's not bone. There are no bones. Bloody hell! You would think it was a a bicep, considering most men around here, huh? Huh? Yeah. All right. I'll take that. Oh wait, that would sound like a compliment. Yeah, it did. Whoopsies. <laughs> Caroline did an oopsies. Oh, I didn't mean to compliment you. This is the same one. No, this doesn't. This is this is a. Yeah, this this is a taco without the Doritos. Yeah. This is just a regular taco. Okay, so if it's not a muscle or a bone, true or false, you can break a penis. Mm-hmm. That's true, because you can tear that spongy material and it often requires surgery. Least we forget. Lest, I w is that the saying? We Lest we yeah. forget. Lest we forget. I went to the University of Grey's Anatomy. Ah, uh, fair point. Okay, you went to the University of Grey's Anatomy. Hmm? How large? Six inches. Erect. Six inches. Wrong. Four. Five point one four inches. Fully to be erect. honest, a woman is only five inches or something. Like a woman is there's is there's not a lot of space up there. Mm, yeah, I mean they are meant to go together. So interesting. You don't want a pencil. That's why people say it's more important to have girth than length because you don't want to be throwing a pencil up there. Right. Yeah. No. Yeah. Coke can. So gross. Do you know what? I watched one of these and English people will know exactly what I'm talking about. But channel four, we have this channel on our, what do you call regular telly here? We don't really uh, have Yego telly. Cable. Cable. Yeah, cable. So that like regular telly, you just turn the telly on and it's on. Yeah. We have a channel yeah. called channel four and they are the ones that are a little bit more controversial. Mm. You know, <laughs> like they'll do documentaries on like dogging. And if Danielle's watching this, you know that that's our favorite documentaries. On, on dogging. What's that? <laughs> People in the UK, they like to put masks on and they go into the woods and they watch each other have sex in the cars. But oh. like in the woods. Okay. Do you not have dogging in America? It's America, I'm sure we have it. I'm sure you do. But anyway, they did a documentary once on penises and there was this man who had had surgery to make himself have like the world's largest penis. And guys, if you want to horrify yourself, go and look it up. And it's literally like this, like he has to double hand it. He can't get an erection. Do you know what, he was in America. I remember the, 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 the presenter was in America. He was in like LA, he was, he was in LA. Okay. And he had, if he had, if he, if he was so big, that if he had, if he was able to give himself an erection, he would die. Yeah, because it would take all the blood from It would take body. all of his body, blood from his body. <laughs> cool. Isn't that cool? Is that the end of the questions? Nope. How many erections does the average man get on a nightly basis while sleeping? I would say for you, constant. Why? You wouldn't know. You're always asleep. I know. <laughs> <laughs> um, 26. I don't know, I should throw it out there. Four to five. Oh. Do you know then you're having it? No. Not So in your dream, you're not just like, mm. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, well only mate. Yeah, fucking well only. <laughs> Get mean... inside me, you fucking rotter. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my god, you? I'm scared for when you meet English men. Honestly, that's how they speak. Yeah, but just hearing you say it was different. <laughs> um, okay, two more questions. Go on. Number one, how many sperm? Oh, it's like 50 million or something. No, come that's out. too much. 80,000. No, that's too much. 56,000. 350 million. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, in one ejaculation? Uh -huh. Oh my god, why does it... And it only takes one. Right. Oh, I can't get, it makes me sad that I can't get my mouth around that. Me too. <laughs> okay, this is like a two part question, but it's the last one. What are these called? I think these are crunch wraps. Oh, no, Christ. That is so embarrassing. Where in the, where in the body is testosterone produced? Your phalanges. Those are your fingers. I thought I was trying to be funny. <laughs> it didn't work. <laughs> Testosterone. Your, your balls. Testicles. Testes. Yeah, there you go. There you but go. Where, where's my testosterone made then? Don't women have testes? Like attached to the ovaries or something? I don't know. I'm purely guessing. I, I really know. hope I don't have a ball sack. You don't have a ball sack. <laughs> okay, so right. testosterone is produced in the testicles. Where is semen produced? In your shaft. <laughs> No, in the test, in the testicles, in the ball, the actual ball, the circle. When you do an X-ray on a penis, you, there are actual balls. Yeah, there are two in, little two inside balls. them balls. Yeah, so testosterone and semen is produced there, but 
Fun fact, only two to five percent of the actual like stuff that comes out of the ejaculate. A lot of it's just liquid. Is sperm, yeah. So it um shooting blanks. <laughs> just had to throw that phrase in there, didn't you? Yeah, yeah some so people it goes are from the balls. As you get older you're shooting more blanks. It goes from the balls. Or smoking. Through some tubes. Or sitting. And all this different stuff and all that liquid gets added. And that's how you get all Wait. The, all the all the all, all the, the as a as a 1989 baby and if you guys are you will also all do this when i think of a sperm i think of look who's talking intro you've not seen it have you thanks for the cricket sound missy it is when their sperm is 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 wiggling towards an egg and that bit is talks that the sperm is talking mm. it's pretty good right guys in conclusion because of running out of memory space, I have ordered another uh, memory card. What's been your favorite, Kyle? Uh, this this chipotle chicken thing, I think. Chipotle chicken, because it's spicy. Everything else is not spicy. Yeah, the quesadilla is pretty good too. I think the Doritos taco, mm -hmm. that's my favorite. I could eat maybe like three or four of them. He asked me if I wanted 12. He said, do you want pasta box 12? I was like, oh my God, that's a bit drastic. This nacho thing, this nacho cheese, has literally gone hard down. That's quite disgusting. Very disappointed in the four chips that we got for ours. Yeah, I didn't even try them. Yeah. But yeah, the Doritos. I also like this chipper. Chalupa. Chalupa as like a lump lunch option. Now, shall we finish our YouTube with something nice and romantic? It's like he knew. On cue, Charlie. He knew. Would you like to have a face cuddle? That was an enjoyable face cuddle. I agree, wife. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Someone said this I makes you. Sh someone like said this, this makes you shut up your asshole the it next does. day. I'm looking forward to the diarrhea tomorrow. See you later. One minute left. Look, one minute. Goodness.